Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Nazanin from Tea Thoughts released a countdown to a summer box and I really enjoyed the countdown to spring box. So I went ahead and snagged a countdown to summer box. Now I am actually jumping in on day two because the US Postal Service was really rough with my box. And so day one did not make it. It was a cute little succulent plant. So instead, I'm just jumping in with day number two. And based on the description on the tag, this looks like it's gonna be a tea that I can explore with my Gaiwan. So I've never done one of these on film before. Kinda of nervous. Um, I've, I've talked about doing like a tea tasting on film, but um, my lack of artic... Or my... Oh. My inability to speak, me being inarticulate, has always kind of deterred me from, from filming one of these. So this tag says, this tea is called Jin Mudan or Golden Peony. It is a roasted but floral tea. So here's the packaging and this looks like it comes from oldwaystea.com and this has a harvest date of spring 2018. And a Jin Mudan, I think, I believe this is like a, or like a roasty Wu Yi Oolong, so. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this. So there's like seven and a half grams in this little sample size. Uh, my Gaiwan is 120 milliliters. I typically do about five-ish grams of, 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 of oolong tea, which leaves me a little bit left over to steep Western style if I so choose. Also, I've been uh, warming up my Gaiwan here. So I'm just gonna dump out the water. Just burnt myself because I wasn't paying attention to where I was pouring. So this, as I mentioned, is a darker roasted oolong. It is a strip oolong as opposed to like a rolled oolong. I guess I don't know what that's actually called, but like a tia guanyin, how they're tightly rolled and expand to like those massive leaves. A, a darker roasted oolong, so the leaves are, are dark brown. They almost look black. And so to me, uh, so it's sweet, slightly floral, and I swear, like, I just got, like, a brief whiff of, like, cannabis. <laughs> it was fleeting, I'll say that much, so maybe maybe it won't come through in, in, in taste. So the next thing that I do uh, after observing and smelling the dry leaves is after I have warmed up my gaiwan, I will slide my leaves in, give it a shake, and see what new fragrances uh, show up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so like, I've had, I've had, I must have, I must have had wee oolongs before because it smells really familiar. I mean, it's it's definitely roasty. Uh, and I maybe almost like chestnuts, but I still get that fragrance of cannabis. It's sweet and, and a hint of floral. I feel like I feel like the warm guy one draws out some of those those roastier notes a little bit more. I'm just gonna do a quick rinse. normally only rinse my pu'ers or anything that's like compressed. I don't I don't typically rinse my oolongs. I mean, I feel like I should. I read that I should. I just I'm lazy. So the lid is the lid is sweeter and floral. I mean, I don't know what flower, but and and the uh, guy one, this part. I get a hint of floral, but I get I get a lot of roasty notes. All right, let's do this. When I am drinking by myself. Which is all the time. Um, I don't really have any tea drinkers in my family. Oliver's not there yet. Um, I I typically use this bigger glass uh, this bigger glass cup 
so I don't always use this this the the fairness cup, uh, but I I will for Instagram show shots and uh, today so that you can see what the tea looks like. So we have like this really really light, uh, almost amber color. I guess I, I need to take the lid off. Okay, and now what you didn't just see was me taking some Instagram glamour shots. So, uh, this is the first infusion for 10 seconds, and this should be sufficiently cool, but I already have infusion tea waiting for me. Tea leaf. It has a nice silky mouthfeel. Um, slightly slightly astringent like like I want to go back for another sip astringent I think this first infusion is definitely definitely leans more roasty so I'm getting like chestnut like roasted chestnut which I've only had once and it was when I was in New York City in December last year? Yeah, I think it was December. The flavor was nice. The texture was awful. But this is, uh, this, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I quite like this. I've noticed that I definitely prefer the lightly oxidized oolongs or the not really roasted oolongs, like a Tia Guan Yin. Um, but I really like this. I, I, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with this first infusion. Hmm. That mouthfeel though is really nice, like a silk scarf. And so this is, like I said, Infusion 2. It's uh, it's almost like the same color, maybe just a hint darker, but really no, not much of a change. And as awful as it sounds on film, or just in general. Make sure you slurp your tea. It, it, it changes the way the tea tastes. I definitely encourage all the slurping. I'll try to edit it out though. The, those roasty notes are, are, still, are still very present, but I'm getting, I'm getting, what is it? I don't know what it is. There's, there's some definite, like lightly floral notes. So I tend to pick up, and sorry for all the background noise, we have a really old fridge, so that's probably what you hear growling in the background. Um, but, so I pick up the more delicate floral aromas in the lid, the sweeter aromas, and it, it's really quite sweet. There's also, it's also sort of like juicy fruity, not juice, not juicy fruit the gum, but like a juicy fruit. I just don't know, is it citrus? It might be a little bit citrusy. Almost like, hmm, maybe like a mandarin orange. I feel like that's a really unexpected fragrance in this. And I feel like, I feel like on film, these all look like the same color, but I actually think we just went a little bit darker here. So in Fusion 3, my floral notes have disappeared for a minute. Definitely quite astringent. That one was really astringent, like, very astringent. Not like, not like astringent like a raw puer, where it just like makes your mouth water and it just tastes like sugar, but it is quite dry. Um, no bitterness to it whatsoever. Roasty notes are predominant on the, on Infusion 3 minerally almost like like I'm looking a rock and actually as this cools down a little bit more I do get some powdery floral aromas again infusion four so this tea is really interesting to me so it's been curated for a summertime box 
And for me, I definitely see how it could be a summertime tea because there are some really lovely floral notes in this. It's not blatantly a summertime. It's not a July summertime tea. This is like, this is like changing of the seasons summertime tea. The tea that you would drink at the end of September. This is the kind of tea that you drink to almost will in those gray skies and those foggy mornings and the rainy afternoons. This is like begging for a cool breeze finally after months of 80 degrees and sunshine and ridiculous humidity. I swear tea is magic. Like as I'm like drinking this, the sky is getting gray. Um, I, I noticed, so this is, what is this infusion for, I think? Yeah, I think this is infusion for. Those roasty notes are, are sort of subsiding. This, the flavor now is, is really quite mild, which I feel like I'm kind of surprised because normally, like, normally infusion three, or, three and four are like my sweet spots. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely, okay, bear with me. This is the nervous energy that is coursing through you as you step out on the football field for your first halftime show of football season. Your leg is shaking and you're hoping to God that you placed all of your color guard flags right so that you don't collide with anybody. And you're really looking forward to the next couple of months where one, it's gonna cool down and be awesome. But two, you're gonna spend like the next several weeks with your fellow band geeks and you're gonna go to marching band competitions which are the greatest thing on earth but it's still quite warm outside so you're really grateful that after you come off the field for the first time you're just like really grateful that the band boosters bought everybody snow cones you know what i'm talking about no is that just me I get really excited when I drink a tea that makes me like feel things or like makes me remember oddly specific memories like the feeling, the sensation of walking out onto a football field for the first time that football season. So I, I think I still have a couple of infusions left with these tea leaves but I think now is where I'm going to end the video because my son is awake and you're going to hear him grunting in the background as he demands for more cinnamon oat Cheerios. So they've definitely opened up a little bit more, but I also think I have quite a bit more mileage out of these leaves. Oh, look at that, look at that. It's a half a leaf, but there we go. This was a really wonderful treat. I always love it when my tea tasting notes transition away from like aroma and mouthfeel and fragrance into oddly specific memories. That to me, that to me is is like a sign of a good tea. So I really enjoyed day two of the Tea Thoughts Countdown to Summer Box. So let me know if you've ever tried Golden Peony Tea. It doesn't have to be from Old Ways Tea, just in general, have you ever tried this kind of tea? And are you somebody who experiences oddly specific memories when they drink certain teas? If you are, let me know what the last tea or maybe the most memorable tea that you drank that triggered one of those memories. Sort of like how this one triggered the memory of me in color guard back in high school. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.